and breaking news science, we have the states of matter. There are four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. A solid is when the molecules of an object are tightly bonded together. For an example, this cup would be a solid because its molecules are tightly bonded together and they are not moving. Also, solids have a definite volume and shape. To get from a solid to a liquid, it is called melting. Now do you want, Aruda? Thanks, Noah. So a liquid has a definite volume, but does not have a definite shape, so it can adapt to any shape. And the liquid's molecules are moving in a mediocre pace. And from turning a liquid to a gas, the process is called evaporation. Back to you, Noah. Thanks, Anaruda. Now on to our third state of matter, gas. On to a first-hand witness. As you can see, I am currently in a pot of steam, also known as liquid vapor or gas. Gas is the result of when a liquid evaporates. Evaporation is when the molecules of a liquid start to get really excited, excited as I am today, and they start moving really fast, bouncing everywhere, and they become gas. Gas is the third state of matter. To get from a gas to plasma, which is the fourth state of matter, that process is called ionization. Now, back to, the, to my co-anchorman outside at the storm. Ah, uh, as you can see behind us, it's all cloudy and there's going to be lightning soon. Um, we're going to be talking about the fourth state of matter, plasma. Plasma is emitted in lightning and it is very cool because not a lot of things have plasma in them. Hey look, I'm holding a bulb, it has a plasma in it, an example of an object that has plasma. To get from a gas to plasma, it is called ionization. Better get in before the storm comes and get rained on. We'll be back after the ad. Hey there. If you're looking at this TV commercial, and you need something that's metal or non-metal, well you're in the right place. Cause this is Metal and Non-Metal Incorporated, and here we make everything that's metal or non-metal. Let's call some people who've actually used our products. Hi, my name is Raj and I just came from India. And I found this metallic yo-yo here. I mean, they gave me this metallic yo-yo here. And you see, metals have many properties. One, they can conduct heat. They can conduct electricity. Three, they are also pretty ductile. Ductile means that they can be made into wires. For example, this wire here. It can conduct electricity and it used to be this. Another property of metals here is malleability, which means it could be made into something flat, like this metal plate here. Thank you, Raj. And so, we also make things that are non-metals, like this tissue paper. We make it. And so, some properties of non-metals, they're non-lustrous, so when light comes into this, it does not reflect, reflect back as when light reflect, uh, comes to this and reflects. And this is really brittle. I mean, look at it. I can just break it here, like this, and like this, and like this. Keep on breaking it, and poof, it's really, really brittle. And they're also dull. Now, let's call in some people who've actually used our products. Yeah, I also got this one balloon here. And you see, balloons are filled with helium. Helium is a non-metal, okay? It is actually a noble gas which is in the periodic table. As you can see here, this balloon is filled with helium. And one really cool thing about this non-metal helium, if I blow into it... <gasps> Hello, I am talking in a high-pitched voice right now. Here, watch. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it works! Non-metals are also poor conductors of heat, and are also brittle and dull. Newsroom. We are going to be talking about physical and chemical changes. A physical change is a change in one or more physical properties of matter without any change in chemical properties. Matter doesn't change into a different substance. Examples include changes in size or shape of matter. Take this can, crumple it. We're switching the shape of it. A chemical change is a, a change when two molecules come together and react with each other. Take this rusty piece of an oven. This rust is made by metal and oxygen reacting with each other. That's it. Please watch us next week. We are